<laughs> you need to show a little respect. Charlotte Motor Speedway. I know how they move the money. Hey folks, I'm Alex Dowd. And I'm Ignati Vishnevetsky. This week, we are talking about a West Virginia set caper comedy called Logan Lucky. A film that happens to have a whole bunch of stars in it, including a very cast against type Daniel Craig, uh, and is also the comeback film of Steven Soderbergh. Welcome to Film Club. You know, part of what has made Steven Soderbergh, I think, one of the most interesting American directors of basically the last 20 plus years, even longer than that at this point, is the fact that he's always run his career in, in kind of a perverse way. He's picked very unexpected material, mm -hmm. and he retired. He, uh, he announced his retirement, during which he still continued right. working. One of the he least convincing on, retirements One of the least ever. convincing <laughs> retirements. So of course, he comes back from retirement with what seems like a very, very minor film. Right. Yeah, I think there's something very um, deliberate about sort of, instead of rolling out this big red carpet for this big, the big return of Steven Soderbergh, he comes back with a kind of fun, uh, light, sort of hillbilly caper comedy. I think it's because he's never been really a grandstander. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Soderbergh, as some may know, shoots and edits his own films, which is extremely unusual. Mm -hmm. And he's always, I feel like, directed things like a problem solver, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's how his direction basically is, is how do you get through this scene as quickly as simply, or as late period as possible, mm -hmm. which he does here. It's, it's trying to just get through this plot, get through these characters, yeah. some of them, Pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, the, the film's this sort of this sort of caper comedy about these two uh, brothers in West Virginia, is that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, one played by Channing Tatum and the other by Adam Driver, who decide to knock off the Charlotte... Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Charlotte Motor Speedway. Channing Tatum says it more beautifully than we ever will be able to. That's right. Um, so uh, the film ends up operating a lot like a sort of a more laid-back, relaxed Ocean's Eleven sequel. Mm -hmm. I think in some respects, it, it's about in that caliber in Soderbergh's uh, sort of filmography. It's a very good cast that he's put together here. I mean, uh, I feel like all of the, the principles are very good. Uh, Tatum and Driver make surprisingly sort of credible brothers, mm -hmm. I think. And it's it, because they're so much taller than absolutely everyone else. That's the film. true. They they're all just like over, towering over they everybody. They tower over Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah. He looks um, so tiny in this movie. Their accents, I feel like, are really precise, too. Yeah. And yeah, and Daniel Craig, I don't think we've ever really seen him in a role like this. So I think I think a lot of the fun of that is just is just the fact that he's been cast so wildly against but you also get, you, you get Catherine Watterson in a small role, you know, you've got, well, Seth MacFarlane, I have no idea why he's in this film. <laughs> uh, he's probably the weakest, weakest part of it, simply because his character, who is this British uh, energy drink promoter, Magnet I think? or something? I'm yeah. unsure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of wanders, literally wanders into the film. It's one element that, I mean, we talk about this being a leisurely film. I think mm -hmm. also it's 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 a little bit longer than it probably needs to be, especially for something that's supposed to be this kind of breezy caper. I think you yeah. probably could lose a, a few elements like that. I also think that the character, these aren't his strongest characters. I think mm -hmm. that the actors do a lot of the heavy lifting. I also think a lot of the sympathy we might have for these characters comes down to how hard Soderbergh works to present them as these kind of, uh, these emblems of a struggling working class. You know, it's, it's another one of his films that's about sort of, economic anxiety. I mean, so have been, most of them since about, you know, maybe the late 2000s, mm -hmm. you know, you're, uh, that includes Magic Mike, mm -hmm. you know, as a film with a lot of economic anxiety. Yes, and the girlfriend it. experience as well. Yeah, is, I, yeah, I feel like the one where it starts being really, really obvious. Yeah. I feel like if this were a less leisurely film, mm -hmm. that that could give this film some urgency. Like, yeah, if it was a little bit, little bit more gimcrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is very relaxed. And Though the character's circumstances play a very, very big role in the plot, yeah. they don't really play a big role in making this work as something that's suspenseful. Yeah. I don't think it's it's one of his strongest ones. Mm -hmm. I do think it's about on par with um, with one of the Ocean's sequels. Um, I'm a, I'm an Ocean's 12 defender. I'd say it's about on par with Ocean's <laughs> Oh, God, 13. it has none of that meta bullshit. I'm glad that that's oh, not in this. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> they reference the Ocean's movies they do. in this film. They do. Okay, but there's there's no, no character who disguises themselves as the actor playing them. You know, we don't get any okay, actor Okay, okay. I'll give you that. Yeah. But even if we say it's minor, mm -hmm. it's it's too long, it's maybe a little too slow for its own good, Soderbergh has this kind of really unpretentious, but not in any way anonymous way of directing. 
this film that really works. Is this still there's yeah. still a rare quality to it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm really happy that he's 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 ended this sort of uh, this sort of half-ass retirement is mm-hmm. back because uh, I think his relaxed cool is something that more Hollywood movies could use. Uh, I just hope the next one's maybe a little bit more substantial. You Logans must be as simple-minded as people say. People say that. <laughs> 